Hey everyone, so I needed a stake rack for my pickup truck so that I could haul trash from my house for my wife. Come along with me as I show you a quick and simple way that I used to build the stake rack for my truck in less than two hours. So the first thing that I did is I got some old trailer deck boards from my dad's shop which I then cut up into the proper sizes for the truck to fit smoothly into the stake pockets. Most stake pockets are designed to accept a standard nominal 2x4 that you can buy in any hardware store. The actual size is inch and three quarter by three and three quarters. So I milled the hardwood lumber for this project to be closer to that size. I don't show it in this video, but I took a spade bit and I countersunk the holes for my bolts. I then took a standard electric battery powered drill with a half inch drill bit and I drilled through the hole that the pilot screw of the spade bit started in the countersunk holes. A quick tip here is to make sure that you continually back out your drill while drilling through the roughly four inches of wood material to just make sure that you're cleaning out the flues. Something that I want to mention at this part in the video is to kind of speed up this project, I pre-assembled it with a deck screw to hold it all in place while I was drilling the holes for my carriage bolts. It's also important that as you're about to break through with the drill bit, just not to push too hard so you don't get a lot of blowout on the other side of the wood. With our holes properly drilled, we're now ready to install our carriage bolts into the holes. They should be snug, but not too snug. A quick tip I want to point out is that the holes here are staggered by design to reduce the chance of the wood splitting when I tighten up the bolts. Too many holes under tension in a straight line on wood grain will cause the wood to split. With the carriage bolts installed in the drill holes, I'm ready to start tapping them into place firmly in control. I give it a firm tap at the end to seat the square shoulder so that it firmly bites into the wood and doesn't rotate. The bolts should now be nice and flush on one side. On the other side, the bolts should be ready for nuts and washers. Okay, so here I've got my threaded nut and my washer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put these on here. And then just see if I can hand thread that. Yep, I can get that started no problem. Sometimes it can be real difficult. And then grab my driver with a three quarter inch head. And what's nice about this is that the one inch, the one inch spade bit perfectly matches the head of the driver and the socket. So uh, now something that kind of happens is going to be hard to do it with one hand. But sometimes the driver doesn't want to go into the hole very easily. And when that happens, I need to tap it in with two hands, of course, right? I need to put it on the head like that and then gently tap the head and it goes in. I'll show what that looks like. Okay, so see the socket's in there. It's not too tight, but it's certainly snug. I can just go ahead and, and really tighten that up. And again, just double checking the backside to make sure the head's not turning, which it is not. And this just really snugs up snugs up this joint here. Now, I could have used hot dip galvanized for my hardware, but this application, knowing what I'm gonna use it for, I opted to just go with some regular carriage bolts. Okay, here's the other side. Same, same thing. 
It's hard to do this while holding the camera. And here we go. Just gonna drill through. And really, you just repeat those steps over and over. Just drill your holes, pound in your carriage bolts, add the washers and nuts, tighten it up, and you're good to go. The last thing you can do as a finishing touch, which I did not do, is to cut off your stakes flush with the top of your rails. I decided not to do that. And so that's a quick tutorial on how to build stake racks for your pickup truck in less than two hours. If you like this video, please like it, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.